Hey there, Gamer Obscura here, continuing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Still in the pit of a hundred trials, where else would I be? Where else would I be? We're on floor... 41 now, though? Mm, didn't get the first strike, but that's okay. That's okay, but it's not okay, because it's like, dude, you gotta, you gotta get the damage in here. Let's just tattle right away, see what we're up against here. Oh, man. Maybe we'll finally start getting star points? For defeating enemies here? Eight hit points, holy crap. Um... Alright, so there's, there's really nothing that bad about it. So what shall we do here? I mean, just normal jumps and head bonks, I guess. We'll get two of these guys on the ground. Guard. Oh man, that's still doing three damage. Holy crap, I mean, now Mario has two of the, like, the defense plus badges on. So that's why it only did one to him. Um, yeah, I want all these guys on the ground, because it takes them a turn just to get up. So then I think we'll be all right at that point. So there we go. So only one of these guys gets to attack. Yeah, the rest of them, they're going to be squirming around. Shoot, man, Goombella's... She's getting hurt. Like I said, I'm going to have to bail on tattling at some point. Yeah, let's just go after this guy, I guess. All right, so he's on his back. The other two are gonna have to take a turn to get up. He's on his back. Oh man, I could really use a mushroom bingo right now. That's just the way it goes. I think we'll be all right, because I'll always be able to knock two of them down. Because I think next time, the one in the back and the one in the front are gonna get up. I don't want a flower bingo, that's not gonna help. I mean, I can't really complain, but... It's just, I really want the mushrooms, man. I mean, getting eight free flower points. Shit! Ah, oh, too early. That's no joke, but I didn't get it anyway, so... What difference does it make now? Damn it! Oh, well, it's just the way it goes. I wonder if I'll find one of those mover dudes again, because that was pretty cool. Getting to skip five floors. Although I think... I don't know if the game would let this happen, but... Like, if I was on floor... Holy shit! No! Ah! If I was on floor, like, 46 or whatever... Or 36, it would have skipped me to floor 41. You'd miss the treasure. So we'll have to be careful about that. I don't want to miss the treasure. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter, because I'm going to level up after the next battle. So as long as Goombella doesn't bite the dust, we'll have full hit points and stuff already. And because of that, I should just use a star move right away. Maybe I'll just do Supernova to whatever this is. Oh, it's a big pink bob -omb. Shit! I was just about to swing the hammer, then we walked into each other. Oh god, there's two of them? Yeah, we're just gonna do Supernova. Well, actually, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Just your horses, don't hold anything else. So let's tattle on it first. It only has six? Six hit points, that's kind of surprising. It never attacks, but once its fuse is lit, it'll blow up on its own. All right, all the explosion hurts. Oh crap, it powers up. Dude. Setting it off early, oh man. All right, well, like I said, we're gonna level up here, so let's just do, oh man. I think I'm just gonna do Art Attack because Supernova, I, don't, I really don't need to mash the buttons that hard. Oh crap, I only got two on that one. There we go, we're fine. We're fine, great. Wonderful, and I'm gonna run out of time because I always do. No, oh, it's like one pixel. Man, I mean, it doesn't matter, but what the hell? Just what the hell? So there we go. There's another level. And it's like, do I really want badge points or should I take hit points? This is the dilemma I always have. I think we'll do. Oh man, yeah, we'll do badge points, and I'm gonna take a moment to reconfigure my badges. So once this is all over, 
We'll just see in a bit. And there we go. Yay, refill that star power. All right. All right. So I got rid of that fire drive one because I missed and I'm mad at it. So we're going to try this all or nothing badge and then the damage dodge badge that I had because that boosts your defense by one. If you, if you actually do like the defend action command. So that'd be like having my defense up by three. So that's pretty cool. And then as long as I'm doing like action commands properly, like my attack is gonna be boosted. So that's really cool. Like that did two damage. That shouldn't have done that. That wouldn't have done two damage otherwise. And if I can get six more badge points somehow, it's not gonna happen. I can get a badge that increases my hammer and jump attack by one. I mean, I could get rid of the, like, the defense badge, but I don't want to. And I've got those feeling fine badges for me and my partner. Like, I really like those. But I haven't encountered anything that's gonna, like, mess with my status. So, I mean... I don't know, I just feel like that's... I don't really don't need to, to use that thing. But whatever, let's just see what happens. Bam! So now if you miss the action command... Oh, now I get a mushroom bingo and it doesn't matter. Whatever, I mean, it's two free hit points. Quit your bitch and gam. If you miss the action command, uh, you just do nothing. You, you won't do any damage. But fortunately with Mario, it's... Like, you, you've been using him the whole game. I'd have to be a complete dumbass to miss an action command. And I, uh, that means it's going to happen now, because I said that. But that's just the way it goes. I think it's worth it. If you ask me. So let's see. I keep I keep losing track of what floor I'm on. I think this is 43. And now we have like the, the appropriately colored pokies. Going back to Mario 2. Shoot, man. These things got some health, and Goombella really can't do anything with these guys. Oh, it's still Mario's turn. Yeah, I don't want to do Ultra Hammer. I will do Super Hammer, though, just because I know these things. Yeah, I mean, this is three damage to everybody on top of the seven we had already done. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. So they have eight hit points. Oh, they're poisonous. Oh, man. See, and that's good. This is like the Feeling Fine badge. Having that definitely is a help, because now I can't be poisoned, I can't be dizzy, I can't be confused. Like, I can't be any of that stuff. Ah, crap, he did one damage though, that's it. And there I guard, he does nothing. So as long as they aren't attacking Goombella, we're in good shape here. The only problem is she can't do anything. So I guess she'll just defend. There's really not even a point to appealing. Maybe I could do, like, Earth Tremor or something. But that's kind of pointless. That's, like, super pointless. I mean, two Mario turns and they're done for. Like, what the hell? So you just defend Goombella. Makes no sense. There we go. M button mashing, it totally helps, man. They said it doesn't in the tutorial bits, but it totally does. Like, if you miss the guard command, just try again. You know, maybe you'll get the timing right by mistake. I don't know. I gotta see what floor I'm on, just... Because if I find another one of those little mover dudes... I don't want to warp too far by mistake, so we're at level 44? Holy crap! This is going a little faster than I anticipated. So now, this is 45 then. It's just one of these guys. Oh, he's a spiky one. Would you get down here? So this is new. I'll know if they're new or not because if I haven't tattled them, that means they're new. All right, now that fire guy. Shoot, I can't get rid of him. Because even though, like you can jump on anything but not stuff that's on fire. Like that's totally not possible. So here, we'll do Earth Tremor. I don't know... Will this even affect the little flying, spiky, buzzy beetle guy? 
Watch me screw this up anyways and not even do it to the max. Because that would really suck. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to max this out to get rid of the fire dudes. And if I don't, like I'll have to use a fireball or something, or the fire flower. But no, we got it. We got it. It's like when I don't concentrate so hard on it, that's when I do the best. Oh shit, that took everything out. Crap, man. <laughs> so I don't get the tattletale on the flying spiky buzzy beetle. But I'm sure we'll see him again, and still just one star point per battle. Like, I, I might have come in here too late. Maybe this isn't actually, like, end game stuff. Maybe you're meant to do this at some point before the end of the game. Because I'm just steamrolling through everything. Not that I'm complaining. Not great. More, more dark Koopas. Hey, what the heck? I only got five coins for that battle. I thought I should be getting ten for them now. Maybe even fifteen. Like, we're almost halfway through. Why are they being so stingy? That wasn't a hard battle. It was, it was two Dark Koopas and one of these things. Why was I even talking during that battle? I'm not gonna show it anyways. We've seen all that stuff before. I mean, fortunately, it wasn't anything interesting, but whatever. So we're on level 48 now? That's just another fireball. Yeah, I just wonder why that one battle here, I only got five coins. Because, like, every other one for a while, I've been getting ten. Including that one. It's just weird. It's just weird. I guess it doesn't really matter, though. Oh, another pokey. Alright. Woo-wee! So that, that, this is floor 49, right? Yeah, alright, it's cool. So what, what is the reward going to be? I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. What do we got? Oh, it's that guy again. Wait a second, what does this say? There's graffiti on the wall here. Swab's wish. I want to get married to Bobolink, my dear love, in a shocker wedding. What? 22 kids, enough for two soccer teams, Shablooey. What the hell? That's a weird thing to see. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Completely random. Hey, I got a strange sack. Oh, I can carry up to 20 items now? Hell yeah. Dude, that's awesome. And I mean, this guy, whatever he's gonna be selling me, is gonna be so ridiculously overpriced by now. Like, it already was. Look at that, 650 for this stuff. You gotta be kidding me. And it's making me wish I had bought some earlier. And I'm like, of course, that's the point. Because it's just like, how desperate are you getting now? And not that desperate. Because even if I screw this up, I can just come back and then cut to the same point. I, I just hope that doesn't happen. I have a feeling it probably will. I just hope it doesn't. Now we got a purple bandit. So he's a little bit different, I guess. Oh, we have a different cloud, too. So let's see. Yeah, they're a little bit stronger. They're a little bit stronger. Oh, man. What? Oh, they're significantly stronger. What the hell? That's not cool. Here, let's do a fire flower. If they're that strong, I want to get rid of at least one of them. So hopefully that works. All right, cool. Also, don't jump on them. Crap. Dude, don't go after Goombella. What the hell, man? All right, we're going to tattle. Badge Bandit. He's, he, does, he doesn't steal your badges, does he? That's crazy. That's completely ridiculous. He has 12 hit points, and he will go after your badges. Oh, my God. Dude, when he tackles you, use your guard carefully. Even if he gets one, keep your cool. If he runs from the battle, you can always find him and re-engage him. That's not good. And I mean, jumping didn't really hurt him that much. Alright, there we go. He's only got two hit points, though. Oh, shit, bingo time. I really don't need this. Got it anyways. I mean, basically the next turn, I would have refilled that little bit of star power anyways. Although, I don't like that Goombella's out in front here. Because that's four damage. That's three damage. Shoot, she's in trouble. We may have to just abandon the tattle thing. We'll tattle Ice Puff. And then I think we're done tattling. Shit! Stop scratching your head, Gam. You don't have time for that. 
Like, you'll just be scratching your head and, whoa, you're dead. You know? Like this, you'll be scratching your head and, crap, you missed the tattle. And completely wasted a turn. Oh, they absorb ice, but they're weak to fire? Alright. So, let's see. I mean... It doesn't really matter, because whatever I do next turn is going to take out the one that doesn't get taken out on this turn. I just, I really wish I moved Goombella to the back. Oh, I didn't even guard that one. Oh, man. Crap. I mean, there's no way we're getting a level anytime soon. What? I wonder if I have to do the action command on the second jump as well with this all-or-nothing badge, because normally you don't have to do that, as far as I know. Because doing it the first time is what makes you jump again. Oh man, Goombella is in rough shape. Crap, all right, let's swap her out. All right, who's up next? I guess we'll just go in order. Let's go with Koops for now. I don't know, I want to save like Vivian and Bobbery for for the later ones, because I just, I think they're the better buddies anyways. Oh, but you know what? Coops against a cloud, that's not good. Yeah, we'll go with Flurry for that, because they'll just be flying around. Alrighty. Four of those little clouds, though, that was pretty tricky. So what floor are we on? 52? Alright, if you see a mover, we're okay. So we're going down to 53. Unless he makes you... What if he lets you go down by 10 or something? Oh crap, it's a purple boo. The hell is this? Purple boo? And I can't even tattle on it. Oh great. It's got one of those things. And yes, if you're doing the jump command, like you have to actually do the action command for both jumps. That's why the second jump wasn't doing anything. Oh, thank goodness. Like I could gale force him, I think, but I just, I don't know if it's worth I don't know if it's worth using magic. Ooh, we're getting a mushroom bingo soon. So that's good. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, five? Oh my god, yeah, we definitely need this mushroom bingo. I tell you what. Dude, don't be going after my buddy. What the hell, man? Shoot, I feel like that's a waste of a hammer attack. I don't know. Right, let's see if I can do this. Hey, two extra damage. That's nice. Yes! Alright. That's good, because even Mario, that's 11 hit points for Mario. And now Flurry is totally refreshed. I just, I don't know how many flower points I want to use. Especially now that I'm not going to be leveling up anytime soon. Like before, it was easy to not give a damn. Because it's like, well, I'll just level up and get them all back. I don't have that luxury now. I only have nine star points, and I'm still getting just one per battle. But there we go, we got a mushroom. So that's cool. I mean, it's five hit points, but shit. At that stupid guy's store every ten floors. They're getting more and more expensive. They're completely overpriced. It's ridiculous. But there we go, purple boo goes down. Yes. Still just a singular star point. We're almost halfway through and I'm still getting only one star point per battle. This this isn't right, man. This isn't right. Get the coin. I need a break though. Like, I'm starting to get really hungry. I'm gonna make tacos for dinner. By the way, it's June 12th, 2024. Oh my god. A red chain chomp. Hit him! Yeah! I wish I could tattle on these. Oh my god, there's three of them. Dude. Um. Because these things will really ruin my day. So let's see. Yeah, let's do an earthquake. Because I have another one of those, right? I might have two more of those. No, I only have one more. Alright, let's do an earthquake. Because this will do five damage to them all. I, just, I don't know what Flurry's going to be able to do. Alright, we got rid of one of them. Shit. Oh, man. Oh, dang. All right. So they only have six hit points. Well, that was nice. I'm glad I did the earthquake then. And still just one star point. That's so stupid, man. Those chain chomps are no joke. They'll mess you up in a hurry. Good grief. 
baby. I'm so hungry, man. Like, as soon as I get to floor 60, I'm making some tacos. It's gonna be epic. Oh, it's a rock. It's like the moon rock. Let's see, so we're on level 55. So if I find another mover dude, we're not taking advantage of it. Oh, great. Now there's a chain chomp here. Shit. I should just swap out to Yoshi. Oh no, don't be jumping, man. I was like, what's Flurry gonna do? She can't even attack the spiky dude. Oh god. They have a lot of hit points as well. Oh, I could try blowing them away. Whatever, just go after the red chomp. Let's see if it does any damage whatsoever. Three? All right, that's not bad. So she can attack the chain chomp on the next turn. Crap. All right. Oh, this is tricky though. All right, super guarded it. Hopefully he's done for, yes. Oh man, I was, I was just about to say these things are so easy to super guard. And then I screwed it up. Ain't that just like me? But there we go, we'll get rid of that one. Well, I mean, it's still there, but we'll attack that one. All right, another mushroom bingo. Gotta love it. So now the red chain chomp shall go away unless I screw up her attack, which is surprisingly easy. It's surprisingly easy to get the plus out of the circle. It's so touchy. There we go, super guard that shit. So hopefully now, normal hammer will make it go bye-bye. Yes! All right. Oh boy. I mean, I'm acting like things are getting really tough or something. I have full hit points. Flurry has full hit points. I'm down two flower points. I have full star power. We're at like floor, was this floor 55 this was? Like what the hell? So this is 56 now. Watch me find a mover. Oh great, it's another badge bandit. Oh, he didn't drop the badge. The, the badge bandit, he had a badge when I started the battle. I was hoping he was gonna drop it when I won, but it didn't happen. Damn it. Now we got another cloud. Shit. Woo, piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hey, I get a hit point back. All right. So we're, we're closing in on floor 60. I forgot which one we're on now. I think, I think this might be 59. The one we're getting to right here. And it's just another purple boo. All right. Hey, a flower point. I mean, like, there's badges. Oh, it's 58, so we got one more battle floor to go. There's badges that make it so they drop flowers and hearts after battle more often. I just, I don't feel like using them. All right, bait him to attack. All right, easy peasy. And I get a heart and a flower, so that's nice. Well, I have full flower, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But getting the hearts after battle are always nice. So here we go, it's floor 60. Hey, where's the shopkeep guy? He's probably sick of me not wanting his stuff. But what do we get, the double dip badge? I already had that. I mean, I suppose that could be cool. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, I'm going to go make tacos, and when I come back, I'm going to talk about the Mighty Duck movies. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.